I wonder how many fools I'm gonna have to deal with today. There goes Richard. I wonder what made her unhappy this time. But most importantly, what makes him still want to be with her after so many fights? I mean, don't get me wrong, I tried to help him several times and even talked to him before. After a while, I realized honking is the most efficient way to help him. I just don't understand how some people can make the same mistakes over and over again. And even worse, some people don't realize that they're doing it. Like this guy. For some reason, he has to collect trash bags when I'm in a meeting. And, excuse me. He turns off the lights every time as if he forgets there's a person right here. I've addressed this issue several times, but he never learns because for some people, they only listen to what they want to listen to. Hi, can I get a burger without the patty? Without the patty? No patty, I want everything but the patty. Yes, boss. He always gives me just the patty. Yes, I know he felt bad when he gave me the wrong order, but he chooses to experience this bad feeling again and again. I'm starting to wonder, do they like it? Do they like being in pain? Do they like being helped? Or maybe they just enjoy mistakes and problems. Oh, they broke up. That's what's up. What if one day, all of their problems disappeared magically. It would probably feel weird all of a sudden because they're so used to them. They've developed feelings toward flaws and mistakes. And they would start missing them? Does life feel complete because of the problems? <sighs> what a bunch of fools.